Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to present at the Good Oil Conference this year, albeit from my home in Melbourne, which is where FAR is headquartered. And of course, we're still in lockdown. FAR is an Australian listed oil and gas explorer who has had enormous success in finding oil and gas offshore West Africa. In 2014, we discovered the giant Sangamar oil field with our joint venture partners, offshore Senegal in West Africa. In fact, in 2014, the Senegal oil discovery was marked as the world's largest oil discovery for the year. There are 5 billion barrels of oil in the oil in place, that is, in the Sangamar oil field. And Woodside is taking 440 million of those barrels to development with first oil expected in around the end of 2023. Unfortunately, though, although successful with exploration, like a lot of companies, FAR was not alone in having a difficult last 18 months in the wake of the oil price crash in March 2020. It saw the lenders withdraw from the debt financing to FAR's participation in the development of the Sangamar asset. And as a result, we took the decision to sell our stake in the field. In November last year, we announced that we had struck a deal with Woodside and that deal completed on the 6th of July this year. On selling our share in that development, FAR now has just under $170 million in cash, as you can see in the top right box. And we intend to distribute $80 million of that cash by capital return to our shareholders later this month. It also means that we're fully funded for our forward work program in the future. You can see though that our market cap is less than our cash backing. And that largely reflects the fact that the ASX suspended the trading in FAR shares last year for the 10 months while we completed the sale to Woodside. But we're back now trading. We're a leaner organization. We have a new board. We have a focus on capital discipline and we're going back to doing what we do best, which is creating value from successful exploration. We have a large portfolio of assets in West Africa, and in two months time, we spud one of the world's deep water wells to watch for 2021, which is the Bambo One well, offshore the Gambia, drilling into the extension of the Sangamar oil field and targeting about a billion barrels of oil. Senegal and Gambia are both on the westernmost tip of Africa, and shown on this image here is the Sangamar oil field in green with the gas cap shown in red, just to the north of FAR's two blocks, A2 and A5, offshore the Gambia, which is the country directly to the south. You can see clearly that the Sangamar oil field extends to the south into the Gambia. And in fact, the location of the Bamba One well is only 500 meters from the border to the south, drilling into the extension of the Sangamar field that we call the Solo Prospect. Not only are we drilling the Solo Prospect, but we're drilling two other prospects that haven't been drilled yet by the eight wells that were drilled into the Sangamar oil field over the last six or seven years. We're using a very experienced drill team. We've drilled offshore Gambia before, and we have a great relationship with our joint venture partner Petronas and the host government of Gambia. Let's take a closer look at that Bambo one well. You can see from the table on the bottom left that we're targeting a billion barrels of oil gross. And if successful, that results in a discovery of 559 million barrels net to far. We're drilling through three prospects, Solu, the extension of the Sangamar field, Bambo to the upper in the section and Solu deep, deeper into the section. Solu, being the extension of the Sangamar oil field, carries the highest chance of success, being 29 to 36% chance. And even though on success, we're hoping to find 500 million barrels net to far, we've done our success case planning based on 150 million barrel discovery, which in fact is the P50 or best estimate volume we're expecting to see in the S410 reservoirs, which is one of the main reservoirs in the Solu prospect as you can see in the bottom right of your screen. On success, we are anticipating that we may 
plan of development, which is a conventional oil development consisting of oil and gas uh, producing wells and injectors tied back to an FPSO or floating storage and production offtake vessel. If we look at 150 million barrel development, that results in 64 million barrels net to far. And this development is conventional, so it does carry low technical risk and also allows for tying back more barrels that we may discover either in Bambo or in future discoveries down the track. We've developed an economic model based around this development concept. And the output of that is a rough distribution of the revenue shares from First Oil. And you can see from the barrel of oil that we've annotated in the bottom right, that about 27% of any re revenues go back to the contractors being Far and Petronas, and a total of about 35% goes back to the government of the Gambia, which is made up of corporate tax and the state share being the working interest and the royalty. Of course, any more barrels we find above the 150 million barrels are more valuable because generally the capex and operating costs will not increase, but the profitability per barrel will increase to far. So we're hoping to find more than 100 million barrels. But the model does show us that the minimum economic field size out here is about 100 million barrels. So how are we going in terms of readiness to drill the Bambo One Well? Well, as I said earlier, we've drilled out here before, so the environment is not unfamiliar to us. We are due to be spudding the well at the end of October this year, and the well should take most of November to drill. It's being drilled in about a thousand metres of water with a Stena Ice Max drill ship. Our headquarters will be based in Banjul, but we'll have a shore base in Dakar, where all the supply boats will be supplying pipe and other goods to the drill vessel. Of course, COVID safe practices are one of our main concerns and we have those in place and we're not expecting those to delay the drilling campaign this year. The rig is actually operational offshore Mexico at the moment, so we won't be taking a cold stacked rig. It'll be proven and operational and ready for us to accept before the drilling campaign late October. ESG is very important to FAR, and it's very important that the government takes a healthy, roughly 35% stake of the income development, uh, the income from the development of any oil offshore Gambia. It's going to allow the government of Gambia to not only develop their nation, but to lead in the transition away from burning heavy fuel oil for electricity development by having cash flow into the country. Our social projects are also really important to us. We run them all ourselves. We've invested in hospitals, developing health clinics, including a COVID-19 clinic, and we manage all those projects ourselves. So all of our social investment goes into the projects and not to external managers. So whilst FAR is all about Bambo and drilling those prospects in the next few months, I'd be remiss in not telling you that we actually have a much wider portfolio outside drilling Bambo. You can see from the table on the bottom left that we'll be testing three of our mapped prospects in A2 and A5 with the Bambo well, but we have additional follow-up opportunities that we've mapped on recently acquired 3D seismic, both in our A2 and A5 blocks. They total about 682 million barrels gross, so about 340 million barrels net to far and represent upside in our portfolio. I'd like to walk you through what the exploration opportunity looks like for far, starting with the Sangamar oil field, which is a known oil field sitting on the shelf edge of a carbonate platform, being fed by oil generated in a source kitchen deep out to the west. You can see on the bottom left that the seismic line that I'm showing you here is right through the Sangamar oil field. And I'm going to step through south and show you the prospects further to the south in the Gambia. The first of course is Solo and Bamboo that will be Bambo, that will be drilling with the Bambo one well, just to the north of our blocks in A2. You can see that they have easy access to this source kitchen. And in fact, that source kitchen is very prolific to be generating enough oil to house 5 billion barrels of oil in place just to the north in Sangamar means we've got a really rich source rock that's capable of generating a lot of oil in this region. As we step further south, 
you see that we have the Jobo prospect of about 280 million barrels, the Jato prospect about 130 million barrels, and then Marlow, a very large prospect out to the east about 265 million barrels, all on a P50 best estimate basis. So lots of follow up in our A2 and A5 blocks. We're not just about drilling bamboo this year. And in fact, FAR's got an enviable position along the shelf edge to the south of Senegal with three more blocks offshore Guinea-Bissau. And in fact, shown on the table to the bottom left, you can see the prospects that we'll be drilling with a bamboo well, our Gambian prospects that I've just showed you. And in fact, more upside in terms of some rather mature block prospects that we've got mapped heading for drilling in 2023, post farm out by far. There are very few wells, as you can see, that have been drilled on this margin, in fact, but the Bamboo One well will be the first well that's an exploration well that's been drilled for three years. So what does our forthcoming program look like? Drilling, as I said, will take place all of November for the Bamboo One well. And in fact, if successful, we may even drill an appraisal well towards the end of next year. We have a planned well in Guinea-Bissau for 2023, it's a commitment. And our joint venture is looking to bring in an operator and farm down so that FAR's costs are largely covered by drilling that well. So in summary, FAR is a successful explorer. We have been successful in finding oil offshore Senegal and continue to test our prospects offshore Africa with drilling in Gambia. We have, an we have a world-class exploration team that's been proven as oil finders, and we've got over 2 billion barrels of exploration prospects in our portfolio. We've been exploring offshore Africa for about 16 years now, and have developed deep contacts with the state governments in the areas in which we operate. And we have an extensive database of seismic data and well data to work with. We've also remained small and nimble and able to pick up opportunities as they present themselves. We've formed strong partnerships, both with the host governments in the countries we operate and with our international joint venture partners. We're emerging as a company with good capital discipline. We're returning $80 million to our shareholders. We're remaining capital light. And our risk management strategy has always been to farm out exploration wells and to off, offload the cost of our exploration. In fact, over the last eight years, FAR has farmed out 250 million US dollars worth of work program in exploration and also sold our Senegal asset for an additional 127 million US dollars. So we're a proven company in terms of capital discipline and risk management of our exploration portfolio. It's left us in a position, of course, where we're fully funded for our exploration going forward. So if you like the story I've told you so far about fast prospects, then let me explain the value proposition to you. We're currently trading at well less than cash backing. And in fact, if you include the cash, that is a future payment from Woodside as part of the settlement of the transaction with them, then we're trading at about half of our current cash. The graph shown here has been converted to cents per share in terms of our cash. 80 cents a share will be returned to shareholders this month. 34 cents a share will be used in drilling the Bamboo prospect. And at the end of the drilling campaign, we'll have about 56 cents a share or $56 million left in the FAR coffers in cash. That'll be, leave us in a great position to take advantage of any success case planning and also capture new opportunities that present themselves to FAR. Of course, there's no upside value built into our share price for any of our assets, uh, let alone the potential for us to find a billion barrels of oil offshore Gambia with the bamboo drilling campaign. Our current share price is $1.29. Uh, it's cash backed at $1.70. It's cashed back at another 74 cents if you consider the future payment that's coming from Woodside. It represents excellent buying and some near-term news flow and very deep value 
with the portfolio of assets that we have. Thank you very much for allowing me to present the FAR story today. I look forward to hearing from a number of our shareholders and taking any questions in due course. You can find us at our headquarters in FAR in Melbourne, and I'd be remiss without showing you the disclaimer that, is, that accompanies this presentation. Thank you very much.